Yeah, man, it's just been um, um, uh, truly an honor. I, you know, I, I'm extremely grateful to be able to come out here and run around and just, um, you know, put on cleats and shoulder pads and a helmet. Um, it's truly a blessing, uh, and I thank God for it. And I'm just trying to take advantage of the opportunity and um, and work hard because, you know, I don't, I don't want to let my teammates down or anything like that. So I'm just trying to, you know, learn what I'm supposed to learn and, and get ready for the season. What is Jack Rabbit, you know, meant to you in, in, in the early going? We've heard how you, you're kind of picking his brain in meetings. We see him, uh, you know, kind of teaching you like some of the technique stuff off of the side. Just how big of a help has he been having having a vet like that? As a I mean, that's huge. Uh, it's incredibly huge having someone that um, is even willing to open up to me like that and share some of the things he's learned over his 10 year career. You know, uh, like I said, it's all of that put together along with our receiving core and, and just this team and coaches. Um, I truly feel, you know, the love and the bond here. And I, I think all of that is huge and, and will help me progress, you know, much faster. What's kind of first for you as you kind of, kind of work your way back in and get to feeling like yourself? What, what, do you want to, what are kind of daily wins for you? Um, daily wins for me are, are, you know, not having any mental errors, uh, just playing the right techniques I'm supposed to play, and, um, you know, that, that's what I try to focus on, having my eyes in the right place. A everything else, you know, just takes time and, and a comeback together, getting my feet and my brain back, you know, I'm on the same page and, and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to, to process the mental side of things right now. It's been a while since we were able to come out here and actually touch this grass. Is it tough for you to kind of like balance that? I don't want to, I mean, this is, you know, professional football, so it's it's not easy, but it's a blessing. You know, I, I wake up every day with a smile on my face, and, and I'm extremely happy to walk, come into the facility and be able to work with, you know, a, a lot of other great men. So, um, you know, yeah, it's going to be a lot of hard work. It's going to be a lot of tough times, a lot of stressful moments, but at the end of the day, it's football, and, you know, you, you live for wins. We see you doing more just about every day than you did today with what you're able to do and how much you can help to sort of ease back in? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to just jump in there and just, you know, it it, it just takes time. I'm just trying to build my body back up. Um, really got like a, a late start to the to the season. I'm just trying to get in shape and, and build my body back up to make it through, you know, 18 games and playoffs and whatnot. I mean, no, I don't want to make an excuse or anything. It's just a, a process of getting back in playing shape. Um, you know, uh, I don't want to say an added challenge. Um, just I got to get, get back sharp mentally and have my eyes in the right place and, and kind of all of the little details that you train yourself to do, you know, every time. You just got to get back in that, in that type of mode and that type of mentality. As you're out there, Caleb, as you're out there doing drills, running around, changing directions, does it feel any different from before everything? Uh, no, I, I feel good. Um, like I said, I'm just in the process of getting my muscles back um, strong and as explosive, you know, as they can be, and just um, just getting back in shape, getting getting everything tuned up. Yeah. How different is your strength now than it was before all that? Yeah, the difference is, you know, I, I work on it every day. Um, it's something I, I implement into my routine every day. Uh, I made the changes I need to, you know, in the weight room and just my training regimen and, you know, I, I feel like I'm surrounded by a great team and we're on top of it. Yeah. The drills. Yeah. Yeah, just getting your eyes in the right place. Um, the little details and, and, and building chemistry with, with your teammates and, you know, knowing what everybody's going to do and, and stuff like that is 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 what I was talking about, you know, earlier. Just getting back mentally sharp and, and things like that. You can't talk about building up your body. I mean, since you've been here, you haven't been on the field, but have you gotten stronger? Have you gotten bigger? Have you been drafted? Uh, I mean, yeah, I was really light when I was drafted because I wasn't doing anything. I, so I just had surgery. So um, um, I'm, I'm sitting, like, right at 200 or above that. And I, I think it's just a, a matter of, you know, running in and getting your muscles popping again. I mean, Weight room strong and then being able to, you know saying, run all day. We we run a lot is is two different things. Yeah, that 
start get, making you feel back like yourself again and get the confidence back? No, nah, no, nah, I was really upset with myself. I feel like I could have I could have caught it. I, I feel like I could have got two hands on it and, and, and played through contact and caught it. So um, I swatted it out there. I don't I don't know why I did that. Uh, but it's like I said, it's all a process and um, you know, I'm I'm confident I'll be where I need to be when it comes time. Uh I, I got a I got a good a good I should have caught it. I should have caught it. I should have caught it. A lot of times we're a lot of times on drills that you're not in, we see in the back of the end zone. What are you focused on when that's going on? I'm just trying to get the mental reps. I'm trying to understand the plays, the leverages, the the concepts and techniques and you know, um and, and, and learn it fast, you know, because I don't I don't want to let my teammates down. Um and I just I just wanna come through for everybody. Oh, absolutely! I'm I'm ecstatic. You know, I, I, at one point I didn't know if I was gonna get it. I, I swear I, I had to pray for it, uh, and and um, you know, I just extremely excited that you know Coach Ray's allowed me the opportunity to be able to wear it. You know, that's that's my favorite number. That's my my mother's favorite number, and it's just got a lot of a lot of meaning behind it for me. Uh, yeah, it just speaks to my mentality and my heart. Um, it goes along with my mother. This was a picture of me and my mother when I was younger, and we was we was boxing. Um, it's just a fighter's mentality, you know, a, a never quit, never give up type of mentality, and um, you know that's just what I try to live by and remember her by. Okay, well, you gonna be ready for week two? Uh, you know, I, that's that's up to you know God and you know the team and the training room, and you know I just come in out, out here every day and and work as hard as I can to get ready as fast as I can. Do you feel like you're heading in that direction? Then? Absolutely. You know, I, I feel like I'm progressing, and I, I, it's all about, you know, getting, getting back, playing at a high level, high-level football, very sharp, trying to get sharp.